Hi there. Namaste. A very warm welcome on Yoga with Naveen YouTube channel. My name is Naveen Sharma and in this video we will be doing a quick 30 minute full body yoga flow wherein you will be experiencing work happening on your strength, flexibility and also relaxation. If you want to take your practice to the next level, you can also join me on my live interactive yoga classes which I teach on Zoom. And to know more about that, you can log on to www.yogawithnaveen.com. I'm also leaving the link in the description below so you can check it out later after this session. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon button so that you never miss a video from my side. I keep doing these sessions on a weekly basis. And now without further ado, let's begin the session with centering. I'm seated right now in Sukhasana. You can sit in Sukhasana. Bring your hands in chin mudra by touching your index fingers to the thumb, palms facing up. Roll your shoulders behind, keeping your back straight and gently close your eyes. Becoming aware of your inhale and exhale. Consciously increasing the length of your inhale, length of your exhale. And now let's repeat this affirmation in your mind for three times. I get stronger and healthier every day. On that positive note, let us bring palms together in Namaste and the heart space. We will chant Omkar for three. Inhale. Gently starting to rub your palms, creating good amount of energies in your palms. Bringing your palms to your face, energizing yourself. Looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, my dear friend, let's begin. First, we will prepare our wrist and shoulders. So let's take the hands forward, keeping your thumb inside, cover it with all the fingers and start to rotate. First, we will take the knuckles internally and then upward sideways and then down. Let's keep going for five rounds. One, inhale up and then exhale down. Two, keep going. Three, four, five and reversing it outside to inside. Five, four, three, Two, one, perfect. Just relax your hands down, take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale it out. Bringing your fingers to the shoulders, we'll do shoulder socket rotation. Let's join the elbows in the front. Inhale, raise the elbow, make sure your biceps are touching almost your ears. And then exhale, bringing your elbows down. That was our first round. Let's go for four more. Two, inhale up and then exhale down. Three, keep going. Four, five. Let's reverse it back to front. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Perfect. Relaxing your hands down. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Now we will initiate the next posture, which is 
Sukh Asana, Cat and Cow position. So being here itself, we will arch the back, look up with inhale and then round the back with exhale. Let's get started together. Inhale, both the palms on your knees, arching your back gently, looking up. Exhale, rounding your back, chin to the chest. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Four. Five. And relax. Perfect. Let's move ahead for the next one, which will help us prepare our hips. And this is 90-90 stretch. So let us open the legs wide and bring your hip a little bit back. Give it a try to keep your hip and the heels almost on the mat. Keeping your back straight, you can take the support with your hands. Now from here, we will drop the knees to the right side. First inhale. With exhale, gently dropping your both the knees towards the right side. And then inhale, bring yourself back, making sure that the, you're pulling the hip backward. And then now exhale, taking yourself to the left. Again, come back, inhale, pull the hip back. Let's keep moving. Two, exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Pull the hip back. Three, exhale to the right. Inhale, hip back. Exhale to the left. Keep going. Four. Towards the left. And then last round. Five. Inhale and exhale. Gently coming back. Now from here, you can cross your legs. Take the support with your hands and then gently come up and stand up. We're done here with our warm-up section. Moving on to now our sequence, which is going to be a variation of Ashtanga B Surya Namaskar. We will change the warrior one to warrior two. The rest of everything remains same. So let's come on to the beginning of your mat. Feet a little bit apart. We'll do the first round slightly slower so that you get the rhythm. And then from the second round, we'll pick up the pace. Let's inhale first. Exhale, starting to bend your knees and then hinge from your hip. Push your hip backwards nicely. And then raise your hands up higher, inhale, look at your thumbs. With exhale, let us lean forward down in Uttanasana. You can always have the knees slightly bent. Try and take your palms down completely or be on your fingertips. This is Uttanasana. Now take your palms on the shin. Try and keep your back as straight as possible. Looking forward, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, moving back into the plank position first. From here, quickly look at the options. You can keep your knees down and just go halfway in Chaturanga Dandasana or keep the knees up and then go halfway for Chaturanga Dandasana. So let's go together. Inhale here once again. Exhale, going halfway down. And now from there, take your toes out. Inhale, either Bhujangasana, wherein the belly will be down or else press your palms, lift your thighs, open the chest and look up. Urdhu Hastasana. Exhale, moving back. Downward facing dog, taking a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, taking your right leg forward and back foot down. Now make sure you maintain a good distance between your feet. Your left toe will be towards me, right knee exactly in line with your ankle. Now do not arch your back here. Try to keep your back neutral. Engage your entire abdominal region, glutes region. Both the hands in line with your shoulders. Look at the right palm. Inhale. With exhale, let us take the palms down. Moving back. Lowering ourselves again in Chaturanga Dandasan. With knees or without knees. And then toes out. Urdhva Mukhashvanasana. Bending yourself. And then exhale. Moving back into downward facing dog once again. You can definitely have your knees slightly bent here. Now from here. Take your left leg forward. If it doesn't come in one go, use your right hand, drag it forward, back sole down, and then warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, moving again. 
चतुरंग दंडासना देन अपवर्ड फेसिंग डॉग और भुजंगासन एग सेल मूविंग बैक इन टू डाउनवर्ड फेसिंग डॉग कीप योर फीट अ लिटल बिट अवे फ्रॉम ईच अदर एंड हेड इन बिटवीन योर आर्म्स लुक एट द टिप ऑफ योर नोज वी आर होल्डिंग दिस ऑफ फाइव ब्रेथ्स वन टू थ्री four five and gently taking your legs forward palms on your shins almost on the ankle inhale look forward exhale pressing your palms down forehead down towards the shin and then bend your knees inhale get yourself into utkatasan exhaling samasthiti perfect that was our first round let's go now for the second and let's keep moving together inhale first exhale bend your knees push the hips back and now inhale raise your arms up with exhale leaning forward down inhale palms on your ankle look forward exhale moving to the chaturanga dandasan inhale upward facing dog or bhujangasan exhale downward facing dog taking your right leg forward back foot on the ground we are going for warrior 2 inhale exhale chaturanga dandasan inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog turn your right foot left leg forward warrior two again inhale exhale moving back inhale up exhale back holding it here for 5 one 2 3 four five taking your feet forward and hail look forward exhale down inhale utkatasan exhale samasthiti let's go for the third round now exhale bending your knees inhale raise your hands exhale leaning forward down uttanasan inhale ardha uttana exhale chaturanga dandasan inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog right goes forward inhale warrior 2 exhale chaturanga dandasan inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog inhale warrior 2 with left leg exhale chaturanga dandasan inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog for five breaths one two three four five gently taking your legs forward inhale look forward exhale leaning forward down inhale utkatasan exhale samasthiti wonderful fourth round now 
Taking a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, raise your hands. Exhale, leaning forward down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg forward. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg, warrior two, inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale up. Exhale, back. Being here for five, one. Look at the tip of your nose, two. Three. Four. Five. Taking your feet forward, inhale, exhale, inhale Utkatasan, exhale, relax. One last round to go, inhale again, exhale bending your knees, inhale stretch your hands up, exhale lean forward down, inhale gently look forward, exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, up, exhale, moving back, right goes forward, inhale, warrior two, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, inhale, exhale, down dog, Inhale, left leg goes forward, warrior two. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Staying here for five, breathing in. Breathing out. Two. Three, four, five. Both the feet forward, inhale, exhale, press your palms down, inhale, Utkatasan, exhale, Samasthiti. All right, perfect. Here we are done with our five rounds of our entire sequence. Going for three deep inhale and exhale now. Open the legs wide. Inhale deep. Exhale slow. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. Wonderful. Now let's go ahead for our asanas. So the first asana is going to be Trikona asana. We will open the legs wide from here and then turning your right toe to the right side. Make sure you get yourself into this position right now. And once you get here, back toe will be diagonal. So you turn the left toe diagonal, the right toe is in the right. Your torso should be exactly towards me. Do not tilt it. Keep it exactly towards me. And from here, to keep the alignment intact and not changing much, Take the left hand to the hip and starting to slide your right palm along with your shin and keep leaning forward, leaning to the sideways. Make sure you're not letting your left shoulder sink. Keep the left shoulder intact there only and keep sliding your right palm. Keep opening the twist, keep opening the torso. Just breathing in and out here for five breaths. One, two, Keep twisting your torso, three, 
4, 5. In the same way, starting to pull your right hand back, inhale, exhale, let us now turn the side, the left toe is facing to the left, right toe is facing diagonal, the rest everything remains same, you'll keep your right palm to the right side of the hip, sliding your left, make sure the torso is facing towards me, keep engaging your left thigh, keep sinking down, lower yourself as much as the body allow, once you come here, Give it a try to open the torso for a better stretch on the sides and the hamstring. One, two, pulling your head slightly back, three, four, five, and then gently coming back up with inhale. Exhale, slowly bringing the legs closer. That was a lateral stretch, Trikonasan. Now we'll move ahead for a forward fold, which is Parshvottanasana, a deep forward fold. So open the legs once again wide with me, turning your right toe towards the right side. Once you're done with this, turn your left toe diagonal. And this time, if you compare it with Trikonasana, in Trikonasana the torso was towards me, this time you will completely turn it towards your right leg, right? So make sure your torso is facing to the right. You will not press the knee too much inside. That's a hyper extension of your knee. So keep it a little bit straight and engage your thighs, right? Inhale here. And now with exhale, starting to hinge from your hip, push your hip back as much as you can. Keep going down, 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 down. And after that, wherever you feel comfortable, if you feel comfortable keeping your palms on your shin, keep it over there. If you feel comfortable keeping your fingertips on the ground, keep it there. And if you're comfortable with your palms, go for there. Now, from here, let's give it a try for the movement of Bhujangasana. So, in Bhujangasana, what do we do? We push the belly down and try to lift the chest. Just try and do that motion and feel that you are able to access your hamstring a lot just to look a little bit forward and feel the stretches from your hamstring. One, two, three, four, five. Gently walk back your palms through the shin and come back, chain the side. I'm sure you must have felt good amount of stretch from your right hamstring. Let's repeat the same from the left. Starting to push your hips backward, hinging from your hip. Keep leaning forward down, engaging your thigh, wherever you feel comfortable, on the shin, ankle, or on the mat. Try and now push the belly down, lifting the chest, looking forward. One. Two. Three, four, five. And then gently pull yourself up, inhale. And then exhale, bringing your legs closer. Wonderful. Now slowly coming down and sitting down. We'll take a deep breath, inhale here. Exhale it out. Quickly look at me what we will do next. The next practice is Ardha Navasana variation. Now for Ardha Navasana, you will take your lower back towards the ground and I'll give you stages. Stage one is the least intense. Stage as we go higher with the stage, it'll become intense. So choose the one that works best. The first stage is that you keep your forearms down and then you take your legs forward and then exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, Inhale down, right? Stage one. Want to go slightly higher, knee slightly bent, hands. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down. Further, stage three, legs fully straight. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. So now you have three stages. Choose the one that works best for you. We are going for five rounds. Do it with me along with the breath awareness. Let's get the lower back on the mat. 
choose the uh, stage. Let's begin. Exhale, right leg up. Inhale down. Exhale left. Inhale down. Two. Keep moving with me. Three. Four. Last one. Five. And come back. Awesome. That was challenging, even for me. But we did it together. Let's move forward now and lie down on your abdomen, prone position. We're going ahead for Bhujangasan. So let's lie down here, keeping the palms by the side of your chest, by the side of your ribcage. Now once you're here, legs can be slightly apart. Squeeze your glutes, that will support your lower back. And then, wherever you feel comfortable, go all the way up. If this is what your comfort zone is, stay here with your elbows bent. But if you feel comfortable, press the base of your palms, roll the shoulders. Do not let your shoulders go close to your ears. Keep pressing them down nicely, open the chest, look slightly forward up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And now press your palms, moving back into Balasana, child's position. Hip on your heels, stretch your hands forward, forehead down. Staying here for three. One. Two. Three. Gently lifting your head up. Exhale. Let us sit comfortably. We're going ahead for a twist. Ardha Matsyendra Asana is the name of the asana. And you make sure that you get yourself right now in this position. Legs wide, knees bent. Now with me, listen to me carefully and let's do it together. Taking your right foot outside of your left hip and then taking your left foot outside of your right thigh. Left foot is completely grounded, left hip is completely grounded. Once you are done here, hugging your left leg with your right hand and you're trying to pull the knee closer to the right armpit done now from there keeping your back as tall as we can turning back and looking back creating a nice twist feeling the stretch coming from the left glute one two three four Five. Gently coming back. Once again, unfold yourself and taking the left foot now to the outer side of your right hip. Keep the right hip grounded. Right foot grounded outside of your left knee. Hugging your right knee with your left hand, knee to the armpit. And then twist by keeping your back tall. One. Two, three, four, five. Gently coming back and again open the legs. Time to lie down. Let us keep your legs straight and Lie down on your back, folding your legs. Going for Setu Bandhasana. Making sure your heels are not too far from your hips and not too close to your hips. Press the feet, make sure the toes are pointed in the front. Squeeze your glutes and then slowly start to lift your pelvis as high as you can. Now while you're doing this, make sure you give it a try to bring your chest closer to the chin and open the chest. And then you can rest your hands down to the mat, staying here for the next five breaths. One, two, three, 
4, 5. Gently bringing your hip down. And before Shavasana, one last asana. Let us hug your knees. Try to get your lower back as down as possible. And relax. Eyes closed. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Let your eyes be closed. You can stretch your legs forward, keeping the legs shoulder width apart, toes falling down. Hands a little bit away from the body, armpits free. Settle the lower back on the mat. Let's loosen up the body completely. Relax the body with the help of Makar chant. We'll be chanting for five rounds. Inhale. Observe the changes happening all throughout your body and mind. Focusing on the movement of your abdomen. body and mind are now completely relaxed. Gently Coming back to the body consciousness, sensitize your toes, your palms, bringing your legs closer, bend your knees, taking a turn to the side. Make sure you give support to your head with one of your hands. Now gently coming back and sitting in a comfortable position. With your back straight, roll the shoulders back. Let us settle down the energies of our today's practice with Omkar Shanti, palms at the heart space. Inhale. Oh, shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Gently starting to rub your palms. Create good amount of energies in your palms. And then bring your palms to your face, energizing yourself. 
looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, my dear friend, we are at the end of our today's session. Do let me know in the comment section how did you find this session and it'll be a great help if you can share this video with people who you think might get help from. This session can help people in improving their strength, flexibility and relaxation. I'll see you in my next session. Until then, you take care. Bye-bye. Namaste.